Many parents think that constipation and poop withholding is the same thing, but it's actually not. Stay tuned for this video and we are going to break down the difference between constipation and poop withholding and what you can do to help your child who is withholding and is most likely afraid of pooping on the potty. Hey guys, my name is Missy Yondo. I am the owner of Slumber and Bloom. I'm a pediatric sleep consultant and certified potty training coach. If you like tips and tricks on sleep training, potty training, and all things motherhood, subscribe to this channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video. So first things first, we need to decipher the difference between constipation and withholding poop. Constipation is typically when your child really wants to poop, they are willing to sit on the toilet, they're not afraid to poop on the toilet, but they just can't go. Now with a child who is withholding their poop, you're going to see a lot more anxiety around going to the bathroom. You're going to see them doing that like wiggle potty poop dance when they don't want to sit on the toilet. They don't want to try. They just want to hold it in. So yes, withholding their poop can lead to constipation. So there is a very fine line between the two of them, but they are not the exact same. So we will deal with them differently. Now with either situation, you can definitely set up a one-to-one -one consultation with me and you can find the link in the description box down below to set up that consultation. I would love to help your kid poop on the potty. That being said, a child who is withholding their poop is likely going to be very stressed out and that is going to make you stressed out. It's going to wreak havoc on the entire household. When you have a child who absolutely refuses to poop on the toilet, it just causes so much stress and all of those feelings can escalate. So having one-to-one -one help to deal with these situations is highly necessary. A few things to understand about poop withholding is that your child is probably just as frustrated as you are. They are learning this big new skill. They don't really know what's going on. They don't understand why they can't keep pooping in a diaper because that's what they've always done. And they may just be looking for an outlet on how to deal with this scary new situation. Now, before we get into a couple tips on how to help your child with getting over this fear of poop, it's really important to understand that if your child is having a lot of pee accidents all of a sudden, then this situation is escalating into more of a constipation situation and you really should seek out help from your doctor. So basically, if your child continues to withhold, then their poop is going to keep going up into their system and it's going to get harder and harder and it's going to be hard to push out, thus creating this terrible cycle of constipation issues. So the best thing to do is to get to the bottom of the withholding situation before it turns into a chronic constipation situation. So the first thing that you can do to help your child learn that pooping on the potty is okay and that they don't have to withhold it is being conscious of your language. The words that you use are the words that your child is going to tell themselves. If you've heard this quote, it's, I mean, don't completely quote me, but it goes something along the lines of the way that you speak to your child becomes their inner voice. And that is exactly what happens when you're potty training. If you continue to tell your kid, I know it hurts or just push it out, that tone of voice is going to be the tone that your child uses to tell themselves like, just push it out or like, just keep pushing. And that is not always the situation. You should be telling your child to just let their poop slide out. And while you're telling your kid to let the poop slide out, something you can do that will help your child ease their fear is to put some Vaseline around the outside of their tush like you would do with diaper cream. This is going to help the poop actually slide out. It's going to make for a slippier slope for the poop to fall out. And if you tell your child that you're putting some magic poop lotion on their tush, they are more likely to be a little more excited to get the poop out of their body because they have magic poop lotion on their butt. Another thing that you can do is read lots of books and watch lots of videos. Everybody poops. That's a great book and it's a great slogan to use with your child around the house, reassuring them and letting them know that everyone poops, poop is normal, and that they definitely need to poop too. 
asking your child questions while they are sitting in the bathroom is a really good way for them to open up and really communicate with you. And your child really may not know what they want. So when your child sits on the toilet and you notice that it might be time to poop, you can say, do you want me to stay here with you? or do you want me to give you some privacy? And whatever they request, you should definitely respect their request and you know give them what they're asking for. Some kids really want you there literally holding their hand, rubbing their back, or just hugging them while they're sitting on the toilet because this can be a big scary thing for some kids. If your child is asking for privacy, then you can ask them if they want privacy with the door open or the door closed and that you will be right in the other room. You're gonna do, you know, put some dishes away while they're having some privacy on the toilet so they know that you're not necessarily hovering on top of them, but you're also giving them some space to do their thing. A lot of times it really comes down to just figuring out exactly what kind of support your child needs and just supporting them throughout this process of learning how to poop on the potty. One more thing that you may want to explain to your child is that they have a poop gate. Now I've heard this been used in a couple different situations with kids who are withholding their poop, but really just kind of telling them that their butthole is a poop gate and that they can open it <laughs> so that their poop can slide out and they can get on with the day. For some kids that slogan just works wonders and just telling them to open their poop gate and relax so their poop can slide out it really just it kind of clicks with the child and then they just start pooping on the potty a lot of times it really is that language that you use and the way that you act around using the toilet and going to the bathroom that will or will not help your child learn this big new skill I hope that you learned a lot from this video if your child is withholding their poop tell me about it in the comments down below or like I said you can always set up a one-to-one -one consultation with me that link is also down below in the description so make sure you check it out I am always here to support you while you're waiting for my next video check out this playlist right here full of potty training tips and tricks and keep blooming Mwah.